Hi everybody. I'm Jenna. This is Apple Dolly Creations. Welcome. Let me know you're here. Uh, if you watch this on replay, please put a replay in the comment section so I can thank you for watching. I want to welcome all of you. We've been getting a bunch of new members and I really appreciate you joining. I feel very blessed that you want to follow me. So I put up a schedule usually on Sundays and so you know what I'm doing. I do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday because I do work and right now that's all I can handle. <laughs> but um, I like primitive. I like uh, chippy paint, shabby, chic. I, you know, I mix them all together. So I've been crafting for a very long time and I have a group and I have, I just started this page. So um, we are taking part of a porch spindle. They come, I think 32 inches long. We have cut this down and I've used so many different things I have made out of one spindle. And you can pick those up for about $3. I got mine at Lowe's. And this is the part that we're using tonight. This is six inches tall. I have a three inch styrofoam ball that I've already put Mod Podge on it so it would dry. Uh, if I'm painting a styrofoam ball, I always like to Mod Podge it first. It, the paint seems to stay on it better and the Mod Podge kind of takes up some of that porousness that a styrofoam ball has. This is a three inch circle. I don't know where I got this from. Um, it must have been with something because it's got the little feet on the bottom. But I've also Mod Podge this so that we can paint it. I have little wooden hearts. I have four of them. Those are going to be our bunny's paws. I have three, if I can get hold of it, three small furniture plugs. One nose and two are uh, the cheeks. And I have a cross. Now these crosses that you can get at Hobby Lobby, they come in a pack. Um, I got mine last year, but I checked they still have them. So we're going to be using that. I put a piece of tape down. I rolled under the ends so that I could put all these little pieces on it and paint them. So we're going to be doing lots of painting. For the eyes, I'm just using two little doll eyes, and you get these at Hobby Lobby. We're not using the washer part of it, but we're just using because it, it has a post. We're just going to put them in, glue them in. The paint I'm using for the bunny's body and all the parts is Waverly Cashew. I don't like a white white. I like more of a... Um, off-white because I like the primitive. I have black acrylic paint. I have real brown apple barrel. That's what we're painting the cross. And I also, hi Kim. I also have a ground espresso ink pad that we're going to kind of grunge things up with. Hi Stephanie. So we're starting out with this part of the porch spindle that we've been using. I don't know how many things we've made out of this one spindle. But I, I've chopped it down and we're still using it. So, so we're going to get painting. I'm going to, I'm going to start with the, the head. Hi, Veronica. I want to start with the head and I'm going to take these eyes and put them in just for placement. We're going to take them back out before we paint this because I, I'm going to put the nose which is just the furniture plug. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to just push it in, and then we're going to glue it in. And then we're using two of the little furniture plugs as cheeks. So when I get this, when I paint the head, I can paint these plugs all at the same time. I'm going to take out these eyes. And we're going to glue these plugs back in. So I just wanted to do that for placement. Instead of painting every little thing separate, we can put them in and paint it all at once. And then we're gonna 
rosy up these cheeks. Doesn't look like much, huh? So when I'm painting a styrofoam ball, I like to put it on a um, the end of a paintbrush. And we're going to glue these two together and we're going to paint it all as one. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the porch post and I'm pushing it into the bottom. And I'm just rocking it back and forth and side to side. And making an indent. And that way it's going to, Hi, Robin. Hi, Nancy. This way it's going to sit better together. So we're going to use the Gorilla Glue in the tube. If I can get it open. There we go. Sometimes I, I have a hard time getting this open. And we're going to use hot glue too. The This tube glue makes it permanent and the hot glue is instant. Now styrofoam will melt if your hot glue is really hot. So if you start hearing a uh, crackling, you know why. So we're gonna let that set up. We're gonna paint this all together. Now one tip that I always forget to do, hi Beth, if you put some oil around the end of that the spout, your cap won't get stuck. So we're gonna set this aside. I want that glue to set up a little bit before. So we're gonna paint the hearts and the cross. Now the hearts is part of the body because it's gonna be the paws. So I'm using cashew. I don't like, hi Beth, good evening. I don't like a white white because I like primitive. I like off white. So off white's actually one of my favorite colors. So that's why I use cashew all the time. And I don't know why I shake it, it's a habit. I don't think you really have to, but that's just me. So I'm going to paint these little hearts, and I have them stuck to a piece of tape. And I fold it under the, the ends of the tape to hold them so I don't get paint all over me. Because I normally look like I've been finger painting like in kindergarten when I get done some of this stuff. And I'm only giving it one coat because we're going to take the ink pad over and kind of grunge them a little bit more. Now the cross I'm doing in real brown. And I'm just using the same paintbrush. Ooh, that's way too much. By using the two colors together on one brush, you get kind of a mottled look. And we're gonna grunge this up too, so I'm just getting the sides. I think these crosses, they came in a bag. I think they were like a dollar something. But like I said, I got these ones last year. But they still have them. And they are with uh, where the Easter crafts are, the supplies. So I have some felt that I have also grunged and we're gonna use that as the hat. We're going to, um, I have a piece of white felt. Now mine is stiffened I was using it for something else and it has a, a fusible interfacing on the back of it. You can stiffen yours with some Mod Podge or a glue. And it's just white felt that I put in my a coffee grunge. So I have all the pieces here for the hat. But the stiffened one, this is gonna be our ears. But it's stiffened. But you can stiffen yours. You don't have to stiffen it. It's just I have that, it's stiffened. So let's get to painting this. So 
So those of you that are just joining me, I this is a three inch ball and I already put a coat of Mod Podge on it because I think Mod Podge helps when you're painting a styrofoam ball. It fills in some of those crevices that styrofoam balls have. So I hope everybody had a good day. I had a crazy day. I normally don't work on Mondays. Normally my day, my week starts on a Wednesday. But uh, I worked today because we're having some kind of an inspection coming up. So everyone's going crazy. And my day was like really crazy. Because so I am a totally routine person. I do the same things every day. Same day, every week. And like working today... Well, it didn't start off good anyway because I'm not used to working Mondays. I didn't set the alarm last night. So woke up at the same time I should have been at work. So I was late. And then just from there, everything went <laughs> downhill. <laughs> I had to turn around halfway to work, come back because I forgot my glasses. Can't see the computer without the glasses. So it's like, oh, what a day. So just a little crazy. And tomorrow, I'm hoping I'm not used to working on Tuesday, and I'm working. So hopefully tomorrow goes a little bit smoother. So I'm thinking this is only going to need one coat. And we're going to set this aside and let this start to dry. And we're going to work on his hat. Now I'm going to put him on that base. We're going to paint that black. And we're going to use some Spanish moss under the cross. Because the bunny is going to be holding the cross. His hands are going to be on it. So that's the true meaning of Easter anyway, right? Almost said Christmas. True meaning of Easter anyway, right? I'm not painting the bottom because it's going to be glued. So that's what we have so far. Looks like a snowman, don't it? <laughs> I promise you, it's going to be a bunny. <laughs> okay, lay down. I'm going to put one more coat of paint on this cross. I want it to be a little darker. Gotta paint this plaque now. Now this plaque could be left, the brown, but why leave it brown? We're painting everything else. Gotta touch every surface, right?
that's easy enough. We're gonna set all this aside, let it start to dry, and we're gonna work on his hat. And then we'll have to dry this with the dryer. Get this black off my hands, because I don't wanna to touch that hat. I was in an event on Saturday and one of the creators said to get the paint off of your hands really easy, you put lotion on your hands first. I didn't do that. <laughs> I thought that was such a great tip, but you know, old habits. But I don't have any lotion in here, but I'm going to get a bottle just for in here. Okay. So I cut a piece of cardboard. This is three inch circle. So I cut a piece of felt the exact size and I'm gonna cut another piece of felt <clears throat> just a little bit bigger. What did I do with the pen? by cutting this a little bit bigger, it will cover up the edge of that cardboard. So I just drew the line and I'm just going just a, about an eighth inch outside that line. So that's that. This is the, um, this is two inch by nine inch. This is going to be the top of the hat. So we're just going to glue these two pieces together. Is that right? Or is it this one? It's this one. So this one is eight inches, not much difference. So we're just gonna glue these together. And I cut another circle for right on the top of the hat. Make sure I'm getting that right, yep. So I'm putting glue right along this top edge just a little tiny bit. We're gonna set this circle on the top of this. Let that glue set up, set up, and let's do this part. So I'm just, just putting glue all around there, spreading it out with the tip of the gun. Then I'm going to put this one on. And I'm going to go around on the edge of the cardboard and put glue and just press this over. And that will cover all that cardboard up. Hi Jane, welcome. We are making a bunny out of a spindle. It's part of a porch post. We've already painted it. It's sitting over here drying. Right now I'm working on the top hat.
and I'm just pushing this felt right over top of that edge of the cardboard just to cover that edge up. So this uh, Gorilla Glue, the glue sticks, gives you a little bit of working time, which I really like it for that reason. But when you're doing something like this, you need that instant, and it's not an instant. And I'm going to trim this down. So because I cut that uh, center out, I'm just going to make some slits in it so that it will fit down over top of the bunny's head. And I'm just going right out to that inside circle. That's why we cut the cardboard like a donut. So when we push this down over, all of these will come up and it'll fit snugly on his head. So now let's glue this to this. I'm gonna put a little bit of fiber fill inside of this. It'll just help hold it open. I have this Dollar Tree Jute um, ribbon, and we're gonna put that around the top hat. So let's start in the back at this seam. My Dollar Trees haven't had this jute ribbon for a while. I saw it the other day, so I grabbed some of it. There's his hat. If you want to get rid of the comments, down in the lower left-hand corner, there's a little V, upside-down V. If you press that, all the comments go away so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's get our stuff back up here and see how much of it we need to dry. We're going to use jute for the whiskers and the eyelashes.
So we're going to take the Gorilla Glue and put some on the bottom. And we're going to hot glue this also. And I'm setting it back. Let me find the face. Okay. I'm setting it back a little bit on this three inch circle because we're going to put the cross in the front. Let that hot glue catch. There we go so far. This will keep running out if I don't put the cap on it. So I'm going to take the cross and we're going to glue it halfway between the front and the, yeah, that's where we're going to put it. So let's work on his body. So I'm going to put glue on these eyes and put him in. And we're also going to put eyelashes on him tiny little pieces of jute. I'm cutting three for each eye, but I'm thinking we're only going to use two on each eye because these eyes are much smaller. So I have that Gorilla Glue sitting there. I'm just going to dunk it in there. Yeah, two is all we're going to need on here. And we can trim these eyelashes down. Now you don't have to use these doll eyes. I just have a ton of them. But you can um, use buttons. You can use puff paint. I always like to give you options. So we're going to stick this in the hole we made prior to painting that. And push it down in there. Where did the other eye go? There it is. Okay, so I'm putting the eyelashes out the side, so well, it helps if we put glue on that, huh? So the eyelashes will be out the side. Hi, Tony. He's just not coming home from work. Okay, that one needs to move down too far. Now that's in there, so we'll just have to untwist these and spread them out. So I have a red paint pen. So the line coming down from the nose and the J that goes each side is what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little bit on the nose and I'm going to rub it with my finger just to give it a little color and the same with the cheeks just to give it some color. It really looks like I've been finger painting now. We need to give him whiskers. I've been really trying to work on my faces. I'm not a very good face painter. Some people do it. I'm like, 
how did you do that? And I watch what they do and I try to mimic it. And Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So we're just gonna put two whiskers on each side of his nose. We're going to trim down his eyelashes. So once this glue sets up, you can untwist this jute and you can get a fuller eyelash and whiskers. This jute has uh, three strands to it. Whoops, I just pulled that one off. Okay, I'm using a black paint pen and I'm gonna give him eyebrows. Just two straight lines. And the white paint pen, I'm just going to do a little bit of highlight, just a dot on the eye in the upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner. And then below that, I'm just going to do like a little comma stroke. Let me show you what we've got so far. Doesn't look like anything like a bunny yet, huh? So I'm going to take these parts. And I'm just going to go around the edges with this. This is a uh, ground espresso. Just around the edges. And these are the paws. I like the ground espresso. I also like the at uh, the photo one. And I got these at Hobby Lobby a while back. So if you watch when they have their scrapbook stuff, that's where you buy these. You can get this stuff like 40% off. And I'm just going down the edges of the bunny just to give him a little highlight. And I'm thinking I want to have to use a brush to get the rest of this. Just So let's take our paws and glue them on. So for the feet, I'm doing the heart upside down. And I'm putting them out to the side a little bit. See how they're out the side a little? And 
and then I'm going to put the, the front paws at an angle. So they also stick out the side some. Let me get some of this off my hands so we can cut these ears and put on him. And he can continue to dry. His, his paint's still a little wet. So how long do we want his ears? It's just a guessing game. Because if we cut them too long, we can always cut them down. I have two little pieces of pink fabric. I know, honey, I heard you. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> We're going to put this pink right down the center. What helps if I cut it the right way? I'm just going to just curve that off there. And put it right down the center of our ear. That heart or that cross is still dry, so we're going to put that on in a moment. So once we get our ears on, you're going to see a bunny. Because right now he don't look like a bunny. But that spindle was part of a porch um, railing. So, for under $3, we sure have gotten a lot of stuff out of that. So, I'm just gluing this on there. Then press it down. Now, the top of the ear, I'm going to fold both sides to the center. So it has, so it will look like an ear. We're going to glue that. Just press it together. And it makes our ear shape. So Friday's video is going to be a little bit longer because we're doing a whole bunch of different things. We're making a keychain. Hold those, bring you over here, and let's glue these to the top of your head. So I'm just squirting some glue along the top, a little bit over the side so that these will stick on there because once we put the hat on it will hold these ears on too so we cut these slits in this top hat and it's going to fit right down over i'm just pushing them up in there make sure i get the back Oh, I think he's turning out cute. <laughs> of course, she's like a cook that doesn't eat their cooking. If something's wrong, right? If I said my... What do you think so far? I hear an echo because Tony's listening to me in the other room. Just going to hold him on there. So we're going to take our cross. Let's do his arms first. So this is also stiffened, 
for the hands, I think you want uh, your felt to be stiffened. Mine is with interfacing. You can do yours with Mod Podge or glue. So I'm just going to glue both sides to the center, but I'm not taking the glue to the rounded part because those are his hands. We're using our imagination. <laughs> And Jenna, don't stick your fingers in the glue. I Everything I make, I get burnt. So we're going to put these up here and bring them around. I'm going to bring them around and attach them. I need to cut them down. Attach them to those hearts. Because I, I wanted something. I don't know. Maybe we don't even need those. That doesn't look right. So we're going to leave it like this. You know, sometimes what you think and what happens isn't the same. We're going to glue this cross on toward the front of the circle. And take some Spanish moss and put around Put between the bunny's feet and the uh, cross and a little bit around the front. Just need a tad. Now I always cut mine because it seems to make less mess. As much as I like this stuff, it is ouch messy. A little bit in the front. So we've combined both things for Easter. The cross, because that's the true meaning of Easter, right? And then the bunny, that's the secular. Little Spanish moss. Mom, I didn't know you was on. <laughs> so I have a little bit of baby's breath. So let's add some of this. We're just going to push it in here at the cross. Usually when you see a cross, you see lilies, but I cannot find miniature lilies anywhere. Oh, thanks, Deborah. So when I find them, I'm buying a whole bunch of them because I can't find them. Do we need these leaves? No, don't need the leaves. So there he is. And all the glue strings in his glory. Because the uh, felt is stiffened, look how his ears are coming out. I like that. I hope you like it. Just something a little different. Let's put a couple sprigs in his hat. So I always look at something and I think, nope, he needs more. He needs more. So I am a more type of a person that always needs more. Something's on that one. There we go. Just a little something on his hat. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. God bless you. Have a great night. And, oh, thanks. Thanks, Nancy. 
yes, Lily of the Valley would be nice. But that is something else that I've been looking for. I'm going to have to go to a floor supply that I get uh, artificial flowers from and see if they've got some because I love Lily of the Valley. But God bless you. Have a great night and see you on Wednesday. And I'm going to let him sit up here and dry and then I'll post a picture of him. Have a great night. God, oh, thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. Night.